Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Daniel here. In this video, I will be comparing ConvertKit and System.io. If you're new to this channel, my name is Daniel, I'm a digital marketing strategist. I make videos like this to help anyone who's starting an online business, whether you're looking for tools, or strategies, or just ways to get your voice out there in order to start helping people and make some money while doing it. I help people do just that. In this video, I wanna compare these two very awesome tools, one of which I use very well, and that is System.io and ConvertKit as well. I used to be a user of ConvertKit, but when I make these sort of comparisons between tools, one thing that I look at that is really uh, important to me and I know it's important to a lot of creators out there is cost because when you look at these tools out there they probably do the same thing and some even better than the other while paying a fraction of the cost I've made a lot of videos in the past talking about system.io in depth some of the you know tools that it packs a lot of things that it can do for you for free and if you upgrade to the $27 uh, pricing, you get even more than you would get on some tools without paying what you would pay on those other tools. So ConvertKit, as you already know, is that email marketing software, email automation software that allows you to just like automate your business, the email automation part of the business. But we've seen that over the last uh, couple of months and years, they've added a lot of tools as well that not only allows you to send emails, but also serve as the one-stop shop for your online business business so if we go through a lot of things that they offer on the grow side you can view your subscribers you can build landing pages and forms you can have a creator profile and you can access the creator network and you can also schedule broadcast messages send email sequences email templates and also on the automate side you can have visual automations where you lay out your automation visually you have integrations with other tools you have rules you can set rules and you have RSS and the earn side you can have a pro Product, you have tip jars and you can see your payouts in one dashboard but where I really draw the line between ConvertKit and a lot of these other tools is when it comes to pricing we all know that system.io gives you all of these tools that I mentioned allows you to automate to send emails newsletters campaigns build solid funnels even host webinars which I don't think uh, ConvertKit offers right now but when we come to the pricing we know that system.io offers a free plan that allows you to have up to 2,000 emails and on the $27 plan allows you to have up to 5,000 emails now when we compare that with the free plan for ConvertKit you will have space for up to 1,000 subscribers unlimited landing pages and forms send email broadcast sell data products and subscription customizable domain and email support now when you go to the $29 per month plan this is where you get space for the same 1,000 subscribers. 1,000 subscribers is all you get for $29 a month. Access to creator network, visual automation, automated welcome, integration with third-party software, free migration, and premium support. On the Creator Pro, is $59 a month and that's where you get up to 1,000 subscribers. So they have this model where you can kind of customize how many subscribers you want and it grows with you. But I still think that with, for, for $59 a month, you should have base number of subscribers that is more than 1,000. It says Facebook custom audiences, newsletter refer system, subscriber scoring and advanced reporting, editing links and broadcasts, and priority support. Of course, there's a lot of critics out there who love ConvertKit. I mean, I love ConvertKit. The only re reason why I would use ConvertKit over System.io, for example, is because of the user interface. The interface in ConvertKit just is a lot more beautiful, I would say, more aesthetically pleasing than System.io. But if you care about the technicality of each of these platforms, what they can do for you, what you can get out of it, I still think System.io beats a lot of you know, these platforms hands down. So one other thing that I want to point out is that when you want to build landing pages with uh, ConvertKit, you are not really able to track the end goal, to track the end conversion with a platform like Facebook ads. I run ads. This is what I do. I've been doing this for the last five years. And tracking is really one thing that is really important to me. So that if, if I'm going to be paying money for paid ads, gonna be, you know, investing my hard-earned money on paid ads, I need to be able to track how many people signs up so I cannot really use a landing page by ConvertKit 
in a Facebook campaign because I'm not going to be able to track the end conversions. Now, this may sound all technical. Maybe you don't really understand what I'm talking about, but I'm telling you as someone who's been doing marketing for the last five years, if you are looking to invest in paid ads in the future, I don't think ConvertKit offers you that capability. So don't even bother, um, you know, trying to build your landing pages. But if you're just driving traffic from, say, social media, free traffic, then you might want to make use of the landing page features that ConvertKit offers. And the good thing also with ConvertKit is that, you know, that allows you to add your custom domain, which System.io allows you to do. So that's not really a big deal. And with System.io, you can add up to three domain names on the $27 plan, whereas on ConvertKit, even on the $29 plan where you get 1,000 subscribers, you're still not able to add more than one domain name. So these are some of the things that I see when I just go through it on the surface level. But if you're using ConvertKit, I'll be making another video where I will be talking about some of the technical details, how to do a few things, how to set up your landing page, how to connect your domain. So if you want to see that, you can check out the playlist uh, where this video is housed right now and I will be making those videos in the future. So this is my final verdict. Should you be using system.io or ConvertKit? I would say if you're looking to scale your business, if you're looking to grow your business and looking for a tool that will grow with you, that will scale with you, I think System.io offers you that capability and not ConvertKit. And I'm not saying this because I've been using System.io. I'm just saying it from an objective standpoint as someone who, you know, have a first-hand look into a lot of online businesses where people have a lot of needs. Um, I, I just don't think ConvertKit offers you that. But if email marketing is something that you are concerned about, you want to have a place where you can run, say, for example, a newsletter and you have a huge list where a segment Segmentation is really big for you. I think ConvertKit offers you a platform that is, you know, really built in a way that, you know, aesthetically you can easily, you know, walk through it. But System.io still has a little bit of that clunkiness to it, and that is really where ConvertKit shines. So if this video has been helpful. Consider subscribing, and if you want to see more video about ConvertKit, why dive into the software itself. Uh, let me know down in the comments and you can uh, you know check out the playlist like i said i'll be making more videos like this again if, you've, if you haven't subscribed this is the best time to do so my name is daniel and i hope to see you in the next video take care now